that those yeah, are, they get are fine. Oh. Hey, buddy. Delilah, right? Yep. Delilah. Daisy's the light one. Ooh. Are you in it? I'm in it. Ready. Welcome to our next stop at the Harvest Host Hopping we've been doing in Southern Arizona. We are now at Thunder Mountain Alpaca Ranch, which is about 20, 30 minutes south of Sierra Vista. And we are just west of Bisbee, Arizona. And we are a hop, skip, and a jump over the Mexican border. Yeah. It's Mexico, like you can throw a rock and hit it. Straight two miles that way. So, so we're really excited about being so close to the border. It's very unique. There's, it's just, that's what's kind of cool about Harvest Host. This brings you to an area that you may never ever go to or experience. So it's great to see this. And uh, I'm excited to uh, check out some of these llamas and alpacas. Welcome to our playlist of videos that will highlight different Harvest Host locations nationwide as we travel full time in our RV. Harvest Host is a membership program that provides access to different wineries, farms, breweries, museums, and other unique attractions that invite self-contained RVers to visit and stay overnight. We've been members since December of 2018, and in fact, our very first night in our RV was at a Harvest House location. Ah uh, yes, I do remember Horse Creek Winery in Sparks, Georgia. I remember it like it was yesterday. We picked up our RV in Florida, we spent the entire afternoon and evening driving in monsoon rain, and we seeked shelter, got some great wine, and some good southern food at this winery and it was a really fun first experience. Even had live music. What started out as a handful of wineries and farms on the west coast in 2010 has now grown to almost 2,000 locations, not just nationwide, but also in Canada and a little bit in Baja, California. If you want to learn more about Harvest Host, check out our link below. It will take you there and it will even get you 15% off of your first year's dues. Nice. My name's Aaron, this is my wife Chris, who's Irene, and let's get into today's location. So at this alpaca farm, you can get some demonstrations, you can get some education, you can do petting. Tours. Tours, events. Yep, they have a, a nice store there that you can get all types of products made out of alpaca, which we've already taken a little sneak peek into, and Chris has her eye on some socks. I have my eye on a few things, but I have a feeling that I'm just going to leave a socks because that's all I can fit on board. <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of room in the van, but we are very excited to check out this property. So let's take a quick look. The sun's setting and we'll check it out. It's about 10 acres, so it's a smaller kind of farm, family owned, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's beautiful out here so far. Quaint little sign. Chris's new best friends, the alpacas. You know, I, we've been here for just a little short period, but already I have a strong attachment to alpacas. <laughs> I might try to take one of those home with us. They are really cute. They're so cute. So this is the main house where the owners uh, do live on premise. And then also that is the Airbnb, which will show you a sneak peek inside as well. Welcome to the Airbnb portion of the property. It is super cute inside of here. The decoration is just really unique. And- Love the peacocks. I love the peacocks, the blues, the barn door, um, the windows with the mountain view is adorable. I don't know what this stuff is called, but that's really cool too. Yeah, it's like tin from a, from a barn. So for an Airbnb rental, this is a really, really cute place to come. It's super cozy, amazing views. There's a gorgeous shower up here. Look at these stairs and this flooring with these pebbles and like the shower. It's just, I love it. I I would stay in here in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. I'd stay in here tonight. A lot of space. Yes. So it's a really cool portion of their property and um, it's just the entire package is really neat. It's super cute.
up here we have the store. That's where you can get the alpaca uh, merchandise. They have an array of really cute sweaters, ponchos, scarves, mittens, um, socks, and bulk fleece. All sorts of things. Yarn. Um, behind us there's a peacock, a magical blue peacock that we're trying to capture. Feathers. And then in here is where all the magic is. There is the first gate entry partition which has chickens, lots of chickens in there. And then when you go through there and back here, that's your buddy. There's my little buddy. You know who I am. I'm talking to the alpacas like a baby voice. So the alpacas are back here. There are two working dogs here, Daisy and Delilah, and their job is to protect the animals here. So not only from people, but like from um, coyotes or any animals that might prey on the alpacas. So they are here to protect and serve and they're part of the family. So next we are going to go in and show you up close and personal how cute these animals are and you'll even get to see a feeding. It's feeding time. So the chickens are getting fed. And we're just observing for fun. That's a lot of hay. Delilah, hi Daisy, hey guys, how are you? Hi. They like you. They do. Hey Daisy, you got hay all over you. One thing we're missing from our channel, Chris, is animals. No. I don't have any doggies. Are you scratching me for attention? Oh. Okay. Right. These are the working dogs. They're very sweet. However, they are trained to protect the property and the animals. A lot of Harvest Host locations are dog friendly. However, there are some that are not dog friendly. This is one that is not dog welcoming. So you really need to check the page of each Harvest Host and see what their rules are and respect the rules. So they do give tours here as well, if you're interested in getting a tour. There's all sorts of things to do here, from touring, to petting, to feeding, to airbnb uh, and just getting some therapy of watching the animals. Like, I don't know, it just makes you happy to watch these guys. They're just playing. These little ones are just a year old. They're babies. They're babies, and that's one year's worth of fleece on them. They're quite fluffy. rejected me. She seems to like it too though, like... She yeah. likes to be with her pals. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, hi! Hi. <laughs> hey, buddy. I just, I kind of want to just give you a big hug. You want to give me a big hug too. Long eyelashes, don't you? Hey, that's fun. Hey, buddy. Hi. 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 He's approaching me. Hello. Hi. Hi. Aren't you pretty? You can tell he's a little bit older than these ones. Yeah. Little baby. Face. What do you want to cuddle? What do you want to cuddle? Oh, you're so... What are you? Are you eating or are you not eating? <laughs> Hi. Your eyes are so cool. 
this is a small property and uh, Lisa, she's the owner here. Her father also has a home here and she does rent out Airbnb and there's people coming and going at all times. So definitely be respectful of the area and never roam around any harvest house without getting permission on which areas you can walk around and which areas you shouldn't walk around. So always check in with your host. Here's the backside of the property. It is absolutely beautiful. And we're right next door to Coronado National Monument. There are also some cats around here, I think two, and they're very friendly they love attention. And they have tried to sneak in and hang out with us in the van multiple times. I had to unfortunately shut the door on the cat. I hope it wasn't offended, but I am severely allergic. <laughs> This is funny because we were informed that the alpacas really do like to spit and you gotta watch out for the spitting. Not only is it kind of gross, but it smells pretty bad. So that is funny because it is true. Well, I think we've had our fun with the alpacas for the day and we're gonna head back to the van behind us and enjoy the sunset. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna pick out my lucky socks. Ooh la la. Home sweet home. This morning's sunrise at Thunder Mountain Alpaca Ranch was unbelievable. It was just magnificent to wake up to. So I love the different locations that we get to go to. And where's Chris? Hey! Yesterday I had my eyes on some socks, but I had to get one of these hats because there's little alpacas on it. Mm, and I'm, I'm a freeze baby. So yeah. I'm definitely gonna wear this on our morning walks. I'll get more use out of it versus the socks. So it was fun to be a patron in the store. As always, you need to support your harvest host. That's what the relationship is. They scratch your back, you scratch theirs, you buy a fun little hat, and then everybody asks you, oh, where'd you get that hat? Oh, I got it at Thunder Mountain Alpaca Farm. Go yeah. check it out. Awesome. So thanks so much for watching this episode of Harvest Host Hopping, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.